Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all, seeing what's going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know at this moment. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. But as always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. If you are interested in a personal reading done by myself or my sponsor, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. Also follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually goldie on all platforms. All right, Pisces. So I'm seeing that you've been um, you've been evaluating all of the choices that you have made and what you've been created. I'm seeing co-create. So I feel like there's somebody who you are creating something with and you're going to have some sort of like wish fulfillment come in here when it comes to what you're creating. And I feel like it's very intuitive as well. You're stepping into your intuition with this high priestess over here. You're, you're observing um, people's actions. You're observing um, how you're feeling as well, your emotions. And I feel like you're now getting to a place of just being content and happy. You had to walk away from something that just wasn't what you wanted or what you needed or deserved and I feel like you're happy with the choice you had made because this is leading you to your wish fulfillment um, staying in a situation uh, whether it's like a relationship situationship or a job that just wasn't meeting your needs wasn't going to work out for you or wasn't going to make, bring you happiness in the long term. And I feel like you know that. I feel like you've gone through the grieving process here, okay? And I am seeing support. So someone coming in wanting to support you, wanting to be there with you um, through these like challenging emotions and co-create co something with you. Okay. So yeah, I feel like you've been looking at someone like they weren't putting in the work that you needed them to, or they just weren't willing to work with you or work something out here with you. And I feel like for some of you, you feel like almost forced to walk away. Whoever this person was, I, I feel like they, they've been going through their own healing, their own healing process here. And things may be quiet right now. Um, in your life. Maybe you're just keeping to yourself and right now you're just looking at a situation like there are certain things that you know. I feel like with this high priestess, you're in this energy of, of knowing things but not saying a lot. I'm seeing with this community something, something involving your community. I see you co-creating something with a community or being a part of a group or community that you are creating or collaborating with here. Coming in, tell me about this community that Pisces is becoming a part of. Ooh, mending, healing, a community where you are mending and, and healing and being supported. I feel like right now you're also silently mending and rebuilding. I'm hearing trust with yourself, the trust within yourself. And I also feel like something about this community that you're trying to bring to, to another person as well to help mend or help rebuild something okay deep knowing wow yeah your intuition right now 
or in the next like few days is going to be super super strong so pay attention to your dreams pay attention to what your dreams are telling you you may have like this deep knowing or this deep intuition um about a situation that you can co-create something with or co-create with someone it's, it's like you know you know where a situation is going you know that there's going to be a deep healing and a deep mending in a situation that um maybe right now right now you're there's some confusion about it but on the inside deep inside you know that there's going to be healing and spirit is saying your intuition is 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 right right now with this chop wood i feel like you're just focusing on what you can control at this moment Focusing on your work, your career, doing your own thing. Coming out of hermit mode, coming out of hiding, or coming out of this like deep introspective um, time. I feel like you're, you're no longer wanting to hold back with going after what you want and becoming part of something bigger than, than yourself. It's like you're in the planning stages. You're making plans. You're making plans that not only just involve you, but it involves a whole community or group of people or even like your city. I do see you. Some of you are like trying to find the confidence or the courage to go after what it is that you want, because you, you do know on the inside that once you take action, um, things are going to things are going to turn out how you how you felt it was going to okay so there is someone around you who i see you viewing as uh maybe like traveling being free free spirited doing their own thing following their heart in a situation but also afraid so, so you're there's someone around you who is slowly evaluating, taking notes, evaluating a situation, um, slowly taking a leap of faith. But whoever this person is, they're afraid, and so they're they're very cautious. But whoever this person is, I see that there's there's um, this person is like doing a lot of inner inner work and and reflecting on the inside. I'm hearing a facade. Something about this person is like they're making maybe their life or a situation right now seem like it's all uh, peaches and cream with this milk and honey, like things are sweet and good. But on the inside with this five of pentacles, this person is feeling um, like they're struggling. They're struggling with something right now. And I feel like you're trying to offer help with this person trying to offer this person something some of you are, are trying to offer this person help and they're just not like not seeing it i do see a, a focus on work for this person around you um juggling working maybe more than one job oh whoever this person is they're walking away from something. They're they're walking away from a situation where now they're also realizing is not working out for them. And they're viewing you as a ten of pentacles. So maybe you're a part of this person's family or they see you as family. Or they see you as somebody who's very like um stable and secure. Why do they view the why do they view Pisces as the Ten of Pentacles? Five of Swords. Oh. Interesting. So I feel like this person um almost views you like maybe you're you're upset or you're you felt like you were hurt by them. 
and so you are you are surrounding yourself with either your family, a group of people, a community. Yeah, nine of swords. So I see this person maybe feels like you're upset with them. They feel like maybe you're ups they're ups uh, that you're upset that they didn't take what you were trying to offer them here. Whatever it was. So what are they, what is this person walking away from? Oh, four of wands. So a relationship. This person is walking away from a relationship and they're struggling right now. And, and you may know this, you, with the high priestess, you may know that this person is, um, walking away from someone right now or you may feel that it's coming or it's going to happen in the future okay also something about this person spending um a lot of money that has now caused them to struggle financially i see you right now focusing on the present moment so the here and now so I feel like instead of focusing on what happened in the past or what's going to happen in the future, there's this, there's this like energy of you just observing with that page of swords, observing a situation, researching. Some of you maybe have been um, trying to research or trying to figure out what like what the outcome is going to be but you already have an inner knowing or in your intuition is telling you what's what's going on here and spirit is asking you to focus on the here and now so because focusing too much on on the past or the future it can spoil the present moment i am picking up that like a conversation where somebody is about to ask a lot of questions this why a lot of questions or um, truth communication clarity is coming in I feel like you are searching for for the truth in a situation wanting Wanting certain questions answered here. I see that it's like that you're you're gonna get the truth though. There's gonna be some information that you end up getting that validates what you've been feeling or what you've been even dreaming about here. I see you stepping into this like more logical pers perspective, looking at things logically. I see you finding an opportunity here to get that clarity that maybe some of you have been have been looking for. I do see uh, like a raw and like just straight to the point conversation where it's like I don't see you holding back. I don't see you holding back from saying everything that you need to say, speaking your truth as well. And like fighting for a solid and new opportunity or beginning here. But definitely a lot of questioning. It almost feels like an interrogation or something like that. So from this conversation, somebody ends up making a plan. What is this plan about? Oh, the Hierophant, to make a commitment. Somebody is planning on making a commitment, signing contracts, changing their lifestyle to a more traditional one. Seven of Pentacles evaluating a situation investing 
somebody is, is making plans to like take the next steps. I feel like there's whatever this conversation station is, is like a trigger to to this person to make some sort of like step in their life. Um, but right now you're focusing or you're, the, the advice is to focus on the here and now. What else does Pisces need to know? King of Swords. Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> Have, some of you, maybe you've been divorced. You could be dealing with somebody who you've, um, you're divorced with and there's a child involved. But this is also very, like, like finding a solution or, or instead of trying to constantly try finding a solution and driving yourself crazy, take a moment for, for, for yourself to meditate, to contemplate. I feel like you're doing a lot of thinking, but there's definitely, um, truth coming in. Questions. It's like, I see this person reaching for this book. So knowledge, information, knowledge coming in as to why something had happened. Why maybe somebody walked away from someone. Time for a nap. <laughs> Spirit saying it's time for a nap, time for rest. Taking time to rest. I see you resting more, sleeping better. Um... And a message, yeah, a message in a bottle. So communication coming in, that's going to explain. Um, where someone, I feel like it's also going to explain why, like, why they've been struggling with something. Or why they've been struggling with taking some sort of help or assistance or, or communicating with you. So, yeah, but I'm seeing the number 952, the letter C M H. W N O. Those numbers could be related to birthdays. The letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, um, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.